because I have a couple of good trucks still in the garage. The large trailer mission? No, I haven't. I, I haven't seen the large trailer mission. I don't know where it's at. Um, actually, I take that back. I think I saw it. I saw a big trailer. I don't remember where it's at. So I've got to go looking for it. Which is cool because I figure that I will run across it while I'm doing missions. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I already did the, I did the collab and I brought the, the, um, was it the cable trailer or something like that? I brought it up here, but I thought there was another trailer that's got like a huge piece of equipment on it that I've got to move on the other map. But yeah, that one trailer that's down here on this map, the big one, yeah, I've already moved it. I used the Colob, and I had the Bandit, I think, helping it out. And it was a pain in the butt because I came up the side of the mountain instead of coming around this way. But it did make it. Uh, the Bandit helped it out uh, to keep it from tipping over when I tried to get up on this road from the side of the mountain. Yeah, if I didn't have another truck up there, I'd have probably flipped it. Which I've never flipped one of the big trailers. I don't know how hard they would be to put them back upright. And the area where I almost flipped it, I believe, would have been extremely hard. Uh -oh. Uh, Mother Nature's going to get me again. Now I'm lost. Right there I need to go. Went too far. No. Okay. That happens. And to me, it happens quite a lot. Both in-game and real life. I've rolled three vehicles in my life. One was not my fault, though. Uh, once was in the Army. And I rolled a tractor trailer with a low boy and an M1 tank on it. That was not my fault. A mechanic was found at fault for that. My air brakes went out going down a hill. And I could not make a curve. And usually when air brakes go out, the brakes will lock up. Mine did not. And it turned out the mechanic was trying, he didn't want to be in the arm anymore. And figured if he screwed things up, they would just let him out. They let him out, alright. Leavenworth. For sabotage. I had to testify in this court martial. And I was not on his side. That could have killed me. The only thing that saved me was being at Fort Stewart um, when the summertime came along. You had to... I'm almost out of gas. Uh, if you had a truck that had a canvas top on it, you had to remove the canvas top. So my canvas top was removed, and that was back before military vehicles had seat belts in them. So when the truck rolled over, I got thrown from the cab. And 
and that's what saved my life. Oh no, pack, don't remove. But uh, the same, we called them field problems, but the same, uh, we were out in the field. Uh, my buddy was driving a Cuck V, which is a, it's a 1009, a Chevy Blazer. And his drive shaft fell out, but it fell out in the front and dug into the dirt and catapulted the truck. And the same mechanic worked on it. So he was okay. We thought it killed him. And ran up to him and he slumped over the steering wheel. And we pulled his head back and he just busted out laughing. He thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever done in his life. He was crazy anyway. People called me a crazy hillbilly. That boy was crazy. And he was from West Virginia. Same as me. Where am I missing? 47 it is. Caterpillar. Uh, she can go that way. Oh, you did it with the uh, P-16 going that way. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that bad for the Kolob, but I think the P-16 would have done it a little bit better. I think the Kolob is just not enough suspension travel, and the wheels are just too close together. So, Mr. Province there, where are you at in Snow Run? I mean, you've completed this uh, map, but how many missions have you got completed in the next map? And do you have that map open? Or did you just do one map at a time? This thing does not like rocks. Getting it out here was such a pain in the butt. Because you hit a little rock and the back end would fly out from under you. Shoot one way or the other. Which is another reason I left the Western Star back there, just in case. Good. Oh, Diflux always on. Come on. It's just a little rock. So the other map is fully explored and you haven't done any tasks or contracts yet. And I agree with you, I don't like the challenges, the uh, timed events, but I did complete the timed events here because it is part of it. And the timed events here were not that bad. Uh, it's not like they were 
on the Russian map where you have to go halfway across the map trying to deliver oil I think it was and they really didn't give you enough time to complete it properly without driving over the roads and putting the trust truck at risk and then that stupid mud climb where the slide was I think uh, you get two minutes to complete that and fastest I could do it was like seven minutes so I really did not like that one I just wanted it completed now I do like the one the maintenance one where you've got to go to the three areas pulling the maintenance trailer because uh, I was using the P16 once I figured out the P16 was the best one for that that one wasn't too bad. I did it a couple of times until I got uh, the gold in it. Yeah, the rest of them I just don't care about. I just do them to get them done. Don't care what kind of score I get. I might eventually go back and do them all to make sure I get gold. But uh, it's just not a priority for me right now. Completion is. Might need some help getting up here. Tiff lock is always on. There you go. When in doubt, hit the left button a few times and it's not going to work. So let's get the Western Star. I've got to bring it out anyway. Western Star can pull it up the rest of the way. And if it can't, I got a big old strong Colob and a P12 sitting over there. Easy. This is a no tipping zone. Had somebody invite me to go cow tipping one time. Like, you gotta be out of your mind. Why would I want to tip over a cow? My luck, I tried to tip over a cow that was pretending to be asleep just waiting on some stupid hillbilly to sneak up on it. So here's where I brought the that trailer up through here and right there making that corner was tough with the colob. How'd you do with the uh, the P16? Did it make the corner good or did you need some help?
power behind you now. Okay, so you could reach the trees and just had to roll it back a little bit. Yeah, uh, like y'all saw, the Kolob made it, but it it couldn't have made it by itself, I don't think. But could you imagine doing the uh, P16 if it had all-wheel drive? It'd probably scoot up there with no problem at all. Let's take this up. I've never actually pulled this truck. I don't know if this little truck can do it. Might be able to do it if I didn't have a load on it, but we have the P16 over, or the P12 over here. I'll go get it. Oh, so you uh, you're doing it on Burton? You're doing it on uh, PC, right? So you can get the mods. I'm doing the Xbox One version, so no mods for me. And when the mods do come out, uh, I won't use the mods on this playthrough. I'll use them on other playthroughs. Uh, but I won't do them on this playthrough or on the speedrun. Because the speedrun, I said I'd just use the trucks that anybody could get. You didn't have to pay any money for Which is actually turning out surprisingly better than I thought. And I haven't played it since uh, these two maps come out. I need to actually do that. But that gives me something to do while I'm waiting on the next map to come out. Plus, I'm getting back into the long dark. And I was able to get Subnautica to load up. So I actually got in the game, spent about half an hour in it. Realize I suck at it, but I will get better. Uh, let's go get the P12. building. I thought about using a Colob, but the Colob doesn't really run all that great through here. And I don't remember if I've taken the P12 through here or not. So this would be a good test for it. And it's spinning the wheels. Plus I put the new bumper on it. So it shouldn't be dragging the ground anymore. And that's a lot of fuel and repair points on it, too. Oh, 
Oh, so you just have the uh, gray cranes? I think something else they should do with this game that I don't know if a lot of people would like it, but I would is make the uh, trailers to where you can change the colors to match your truck. You know, when you buy a trailer in a trailer store, it'll ask you what color you want it. And the same way with that uh, blue sideboard bed. You know, that should change colors to whatever color you have the truck. Alright. Let's see if we can get it up here now. Uh, she's moving now. Big Bad John's got a hold of it. Oop, that might have been a little too close. Yeah, it's right on my butt. I need a little bit of space in there. Yeah, a little bit more. Hey, right, try it again. I think the wheels are spinning too much. I can barely see the front wheel and it looked like it's spinning too much. So you've got all the gray trailers too. It's a manual mod and that may have been all how you broke the main profile after the update. Okay, it's too much weight here. But I think I'm close enough where I can use the winch on the 770. So I'm going to have to fuel up a lot of these trucks before I get them out of here. So I would just park you. Rolling refinery right here. So I did watch the video on, uh, you're just not wanting to go, are you? There you go. On the, the power to rate ratios, which engines have the best, or are the strongest, and this one has a really strong engine. But it's the heaviest truck in the game. I think it's what they said. It was like 26 tons, 25 tons. And with these rocks on the back. I still don't like the steering. Slow you down. Steering is way too slow. And I understand it's realistic, but still, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, speed jump now. You're off the ice. Come on, dig in there. Uh, 
Uh -oh. There you go. Oh, I hate the steering on this thing. It reminds me of a deuce and a half from the military. Manual steering. When you got some speed up, steer just fine. But when you're in tight areas going backwards and forwards, turning that steering wheel is not a job for somebody with no muscles. Then again, when you drove a deuce and a half, you didn't have to worry about anybody messing with your truck. Because nobody wanted to jump in it and move it and steer it. They'd come and find you and have you move your truck. I moved a guy's truck once while we were out in the field and he had a uh, flatbed trailer with the uh, cargo sides on it, the removable wooden sides and he was kind of a, to put it nicely, he was a real ass and tried to prove that point every day. I don't know if you've ever met people like that, but yeah, you kind of uh, really don't care for them. So I had to move his truck while we were out in the field once because he had to go to sick call. He had a boo-boo on his finger and he was one of those people that went to sick call a lot just to get out of work. So I had to move his truck and it took me about 10 minutes but I parallel parked it between two trees and I could have gotten it out he could not he had to have a uh, a wrecker come over and pull the front end around so he could get it uh, away from those trees <laughs> Karma sometimes can jump up and bite you. I had an old deuce and a half tractor trailer. And so when I was stationed at Fort Stewart, as a first, uh, yeah, I got two vehicles when I got there. They assigned me a uh, 6,000 pound rough terrain forklift and a a deuce and a half semi which nobody wanted and I was like I'll take it so they assigned it to me and that truck ran like a champ I mean run perfectly as long as you were in the motor pool you pulled out the motor pool gates and it had to be towed back in every time we took that thing out to the field it broke down and had to be uh, hauled back so somebody got the bright idea one time we had Chinooks coming in with uh, loaded with fuel and ammo pallets and they were like you know instead of pulling this thing back let's just sling it back which is uh, you hook chains and ropes on it you hook it to the underbelly of a uh, Chinook helicopter 
and it's like a big piece of cargo for them and they move it. So we were watching it as it was flying off in the distance and it started swaying and those Chinook pilots they don't fool around. They get a cargo and it starts swaying they drop it and they dropped my truck. It was the funniest thing. All right, we'll leave you here for now. And let's jump in the garage. Ah, I got all these missions. And I think I know which one I want to do first. The Sunk Giant. So I did see that when I was opening up the map and it is a western star uh, or excuse me a, a twin steer oh and my twin steer is still up there so I'm not doing that one okay I can get my twin steer back down here and then I'll do that one so let's see what missions we do have So this is delivery. Got to do a lot of deliveries. All these are deliveries. The final check is I can't do that to finish all the missions. So let's look at the tasks. To the top. Reach the mountaintop. Oh, you junker. See on the other maps you could click on it and it would go to it. factory main block. Let's um, let's unfollow that. And now let's see if it'll take me there. Nope, won't take me. So that one probably won't do it either. Nope. So East Camp cargo container uh, I think this is somewhere the easiest way is to use a cargo container to both camps I've heard there are some empty containers along the railroad tracks okay missing container opening a warehouse Tracking that and deliver that to that warehouse, but what is it? A maintenance trailer. Ah, but first we have a roadblock. Roadblock. I don't have a roadblock. I need to go get the roadblock. So who's going to go get the roadblock? Do it the easy way. Not you, not you. Not you or you. Uh, you don't have enough gas in you. I don't think. Let's go to Hummer. So we need to go get the mission for this roadblock. And I can leave the Hummer out here. But I don't want to take that path. I have been down that path and it gets well, maybe no it might be that one up here one of them is really snowy and the vehicles just sit and spin on it it might be that path I don't know we'll try it out
didn't like that sound anyway. Come on, you can do better than this. Can I go up that way? Looks like I can. Let's go that way. Do a little bit of off road. A little bit of fun before we actually get to work on this map. And deep snow. But not too bad. Reminds me of some of the hills I drove on when I was a kid. That's a big drop. Yeah, I love how you can drive these scouts here. I've missed them. I think I need to go straight. And I need to put down markers. Actually, I need to come over here. And take that road to lead me right there, maybe. Uh, no. Well, maybe I might be able to slide down in here, but I think that's a bridge uh, right there. So we'll just slide around here. here, make our way through here, and end up to there. See if we can do that. This is my wife's dream car. That it's the only thing she'll trade her Jeep in on is a Hummer. We actually went and looked at them. And I found one that a uh, guy was selling a car lot. In fact, it was a car lot where we bought her Jeep at. And she drove it and she liked it, but they just wanted too much for it.
It wasn't too bad. Get you off the side here. So we'll accept it. And then take a look and see what it is. Roadblock. Two wooden planks. Start tracking it. And where can I get wood? Wood framing over there. Wood framing here. And I'll come over here and get it. Yeah, I can take the same path with a bigger truck. And then come over here. Nope. Shut you off. Then go to the garage. And who do I have? You'll do. Oh. Thought I'd turn that off. I got wood here. In there, but I'm gonna go. I'll save those in case I need them for someplace else. What I am gonna do is when I'm not streaming uh, and I just have you know 20 30 minutes to uh, play, is go around collecting all of the supplies, all the bricks and the metal and the wood framing, break all of those down. And bring it back to the garage. Maybe. I don't know yet. I might play this one a little differently and just start out with uh, if it needs it. I will go out and find it. Like the wood, I'll go find a place that has wood framing and tear it down. In fact, I think that would be a better idea. Climb up. Oh, yeah. But can you get back down without flipping? I was turning, but it went to the right. There we go. So I watched a video and they were talking about the content creators and who won the content creator of the month. Uh, but one guy, and they were showing the vehicles, uh, one guy had made a tractor with a blade on the front of it. And I'm wondering could you use that to clear the rocks off the roads?
or if you cleared the rocks off the roads, would they automatically respawn back to where they were? No. Did you load? Nope, two cargoes left. Manual loading is blocked. Why is manual loading blocked? And, can I pick that wood up? Ooh, that's wood. Or will it do the same thing the metal did at the rolled steel factory and not let you get it even though you can hook up to it? It's got dots. Because that's a lot of wood there. You can. <laughs> Come here. You're going to fall off, aren't you? Yep. I was very tempted to go ahead and drop it real quick, but I knew as soon as I dropped it, it'd fall. So, can I pick up another one? I've got more dots. Is that concrete slabs? Huh. Interesting. So can I go? Better watch where my front end is going. Doubt if I can pick those up. So, not only can you get stuff where they tell you you can get it, but you can find stuff. And let's see if I can pick this up. Will it come out? Yeah, you can find stuff that's not even on the map. I like that idea. Because now you got to pay attention where you're going. And look for this kind of stuff. So not only do I have two here. Got two here and one there. And then my concrete slabs. Though there is wood on that one. On those three, I don't know if you can pick it up. Um, let's try it. I tried to anchor. So even though there's wood sitting on it. Will it let me lift it up? Ooh, with a stronger crane, maybe. Because I didn't see... Well, let me see again. No, I didn't see anything for that piece of... Uh, that stacked wood there. Or the other stacked wood, I didn't see a, a loading on it. I don't know, I have to bring a bigger crane over here and find out. A little crane's not going to do it. 
Interesting. Very interesting and tricky. Because there's a lot of concrete slabs there. see a sign. It jumped out in front of me. Ouch. Uh, around the corner. And it accepted it. Excellent. So what's next? Anything else? Or crates in the woods. These are vehicle spare parts. And I see... Vehicle spare parts here. Crates in the woods. And they need to be delivered to Frank's house, which is right here. Okay. So let's get after it. and easy. I wonder if that's the containers they were talking about. Yeah. That is containers they were talking about. Uh, the containers with logos on the side are the ones you can get. If a container does not have a logo on the side, you can't pick it up. Let's not go down there. Let's go down this way. They got deep fast. All right, let me look where these are. So we've got one right here. At the delivery point. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. One right there and one right here. Let's grab that one. Get off there. Grab that one first and then come over and grab this one. And we'll take a trip through the swamp. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Because that looks a little deep. That is a lot deep. anchor and get my crane and my truck is bubbling it's exhaust and 
Hopefully this stuff didn't rust. And pack. Uh, restore brain. Now can I get out of here? You getting wet, Bob? Oh. Well, from what I can see, the cockpit was still dry. Water tight. Because we wouldn't want Fluffy here to get wet. Fluffy the Wonder Mutt. It looks like all of them might be underwater. Could get me in trouble. Could get in here and get into a really deep spot. Err, okay. Yeah, that's a deep spot. Uh, let's try to go to the side of this. Can I see the grate? And that puts me at a really bad angle. Yeah, that one's deep. You can't even see it in the water. Let's try this. I know it's dangerous water, but it is not tearing you up yet. closer. Unpack, repack, and restore. So now let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think it would let me have cockpit. Bob's getting a shower or a bath. He has been wearing the same clothes all through this playthrough. Our delivery point. Man, this truck goes through the swamp really good. Hi, right, folks. That's about going to do me for tonight because I have to get these this video downloaded and I have to upload some videos to YouTube for tomorrow so for those of you that watch me live on Twitch thank you very much I appreciate it and also appreciated all the comments uh, I am getting better at looking at the comments and reading the chat as I'm going so I guess I am improving for those of you on YouTube uh, let me know how I'm doing for the YouTube videos. 
and I will see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.